Can I take your order? What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy, Leak, you feel me? Coming at y'all with another reaction video, man. Now, look, 7 p.m. Central Time, daily uploads, bro. You know if you're not here on time, bro, I'm going to have to teach you a valuable lesson. If, Hey, so, hey, if you're not here, get ready for what I'm going to teach you, bro. It's going to hurt, by the way. It's a two-piece. It's a two-piece, so you better be here on time. But I appreciate the support nonetheless. Guys, as I said before, I'm going to be hitting y'all with double and triple uploads Sunday through Thursday. So you better be on time for them videos. Friday and Saturday, I'll probably be hitting y'all with one upload because what? I have a life. You feel me? That I have to balance as well. But look, I appreciate the support nonetheless. Guys, the video is called Racist, Racist Son Denies Black Dad. Um, This video was sent to me by... Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, this video was sent to me by Mark Tucker 65, bro. Shout, shout out to you. You feel me for sending the videos through, guys? You know where to send the videos to. Send it to my backup Instagram account. But <clears throat> I'm doing too much blabber. Got my Burger King head, as you can see. But let's get the video cooking, man. <laughs> Just want you to know I don't like you. I don't like people like you. You come in here pretending to be this nice guy, but I know what you really are deep inside. Whoa. Criminal. Whoa, 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 buddy. Let's calm it down, all right? Oh, this nigga like rocking out. <laughs> what the? What up, white boy? I better not catch you walking through my neighborhood again, or I'm gonna put a whooping on you. What did I do? You hear what I said? Better get off this block before I throw this rock at your head instead of an empty soda can. Damn! Oh, and this started this that started his racist backstory, guys. Oh, see, guys, 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 this is important. This is an important lesson right here that we already learned, bro. Listen, you can't let one bad apple, you know, change your perspective on a whole race or a whole gender or a whole type of person, bro. You can't do that. Just because the one shorty you talked to was a cheater and she was a piece of crap doesn't mean all shorties are cheaters. I mean, there's, there's a, lot, a lot of shorties that be wilding out here, but that doesn't mean that all of them are bad. Just in case this race of person did this and acted this way doesn't mean they all like that, bro. You feel me? Doesn't mean they all like that, bro. Try to, I know it's hard to do. It's hard to do, especially if you was born and you was raised some type of way, but try to keep an open mind. You feel me? Going into different experiences. Try to do new things. Try to meet new people. Keep an open mind, bro. Because we're on this earth. I feel like one of the reasons we on this earth is to spread joy and, you know, and spread our special, you know, abilities. The things that make us special and different from each person. So spread what you have. Spread your spread your joy. Spread who you are as a person. And, you know, leave a positive effect. You feel me? Life lessons will leak, man. Honey. I'm not gonna lie, bro. You gotta look cougar, mom. Cougar, mom. Not nothing crazy. You feel me? Not nothing crazy. Did you have a good day at school? No, I hate it here. What you mean? We just got here. Maybe you just give it some time to get used to things. Did you make any new friends at school today? No. Or can we just go back to Oregon? Josh. You know we can't go back. Besides, it's nice here. It's LA weather. And we don't need to be in the snow right now. What's there not to like? I miss the snow. I, I just hate it here, okay? And I want to go home. Well, this is our home now. So get used to it. Dang, man. He getting bullied. Soda cans being thrown at him, bro. Crazy. Next day. Oh, he told you not to walk on the block. Oh, man. Well, well. Um. Look who we have here. Look, man, I'm just trying to get home. I don't want, I don't want any problems. Thought I told you not to walk on my street, white boy. But, but, I, but I live here. This, this is how I get home every single day. Not anymore. From now on? You have to walk the long way to get home. What do you mean? I mean, you're gonna have to walk around and take the main street. Are you kidding me? That, that, that's over a mile to walk all the way around. Not my problem. But, but um, what, what, what if I don't?
Hey, hey, come on, man. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Let the man, bro. Come on, bro. Punch the nigga in this shit, bro. Come on, bro. Bro, just trying to, bro, this is the thing, bro. Like, you feel me? And when I was growing up in the hood, bro, I told you guys in multiple videos, bro. My older siblings, family members, you know, they knew, you know, all the people that used to be posted up on the block. I was good, bro. I was good, you know. I was good. You feel me? Not to say that it still isn't dangerous, you know, but, bro, you just trying to get your education, bro. You just trying to go to school. You ain't trying to bother nobody, bro. Like, let me go to school, bro. I can see if I was walking around pants sagging and trying to be somebody I'm not or, like, you know, trying to be an op or something. Bro, just let me go to school, bro. Get my education. Come on, bro. Whoa. Who the hell are you? Oh, man. He think it's a part two. Oh, man. What, what are you doing in my house? Oh, man. Yeah, he's terrified, bro. I'll, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand. I understand. He, he would have thought it was a part two, you know, coming soon because he'd get home and there's another, you know, black individual. You know, I understand what he's talking about, man. Sorry, sweetie. I was in the restroom. Uh, honey, this is Daryl, mom's new boyfriend. You're, you're what? Well, mom has to start dating again. Can't just be all alone after dad's gone. Nice meeting you, young man. Daryl Parker. Oh, man. Can't believe this is what you bring home. Some criminal. Hey, what you the? Me? You heard me. You're all drug dealers and- Hey, 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 whoa! Come on, man. Come on, bro. Well, a black guy did just punch him in his eye, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I would have had some slurs lined up, too. You know, if somebody did me wrong. You know, I'll I have something for him, too. You know? Hey, you come back up here right now. It's okay. It's okay. He probably just misses his real dad. It's all right. Dang, that was fast. She ain't playing no games. He go to school. One day, she come back with a new man. Is your mom a bop? That'll suck. I know he ready to crash out, bro. Man. Well, well, well. I better not catch you walking through my neighborhood again. I'm gonna put a whooping on Thought you. Thought I told you not to walk on my street, white boy, white boy, white boy, white boy. Oh man, he got the reload. I would have been ready to crash out, bro. You didn't hit me in my shit, bro. Now, now it's war, bro. Now I gotta go get me a strap. That's a nice bed frame. Good morning, Grumpy. I invited Daryl over. I thought you two need another chance to me. Are you going to say something about this black eye? It's kind of rough. How about you come over here and have a seat? You gonna say something about his black eye or what? You don't notice that? What happened to your eye? Oh, okay. Oh. What do you mean you fell? Since when does falling cause a black eye? Just, like, just stop making a big deal, okay? Hey, hey, Mary. You heard the kid. He fell. Just let him be for a minute. <sighs> okay. If you say you fell, you fell. Okay. How about... I'll just give you a minute and you talk to each other. Come on, bro. This, this is important right here, bro. He going through a tough time. What are you going to say? I just want you to know I don't like you. I don't like people like you. You come in here pretending to be this nice guy, but I know what you really are deep inside. Criminal. You think I don't know what you're doing? I know exactly what you're doing. Which is what? And don't think for a second that I won't try everything in my power to- You get your ass whooped. Excuse me? You heard me. You get your ass whooped? Is that how you got that black eye? I know what it looks like when someone's gotten their ass whooped. But I've gotten my ass whooped before too. It's nothing to be ashamed of. There's a kid bigger than you? There's more than one? It was a black guy. Uh, it was a black kid, wasn't it? Yeah. 
Is that why you call me a criminal? You think we just going around beating up people? Back when I was your age, I was the only black kid in my neighborhood. I used to get picked on, made fun of, get crazy looks from my neighbor just because I was black. For the longest time, I resented white people. Mm. I thought they were all the same. I had this underlining hatred for them. And then what happened? I grew up. I realized there were other places outside of my little street corner that I grew up in. Yeah. I realized that one experience shaped how I viewed an entire race. Right. I realized those kids that picked on me, they were just jerks. They didn't speak for everybody. Right. I say all that to say this. You can't let one experience speak on an entire culture. And all that hatred in your heart, it's only going to consume you. I know you lost your dad. I know what it's like to grow up without a father. I'm not here to replace anybody in your life. I do want to let you know, if you ever need anyone to talk to, I'll be here for you. W Mass, W Mass. W Mass. But y'all got to go get that back in blood, though. I'm not going to lie to you. Y'all got to get it back in blood. Daryl think... was right on the money. His words were so accurate that it brought tears to young Josh's eyes. Josh was creating this narrative that simply wasn't true. But it was hard to separate his own individual experience from what is factually accurate. Right. With his father passing away at a young age, Josh was very fortunate to have someone like Daryl come in and be a voice of reason when Josh was at an age that the world did not yet make sense. After crying and laughing their way through, Josh and Daryl ended up building a strong bond together, and Josh <laughs> finally felt understood. All right, man. Well, I got to get to work. I'm glad we had this talk. Tell your mom. I'm running late. I'll talk to her later, all right? Nice. Did you guys have a good talk? Yeah, it was a really good talk, actually. I like him. He's different than I imagined. That was a really good guy. Where is he, by the way? Oh, uh, yeah. He said he had something really important to do. Uh, I'm, I'm meeting up with him later. Look, another white boy. This will teach him to walk on my block. You plan on throwing that at somebody? Who the heck are you? Let go of me. Drop the cans. Don't you got something better than do to throw a can at a kid smaller than you? Where's your dad at? I don't have a dad, sir. He left when I was a kid. You gonna call the cops on me? Thinking about it. But I'll do something better for you though. You like basketball? Of basketball? course, of course! Yeah. You like money? <laughs> Hell yeah, I do. How about I play you in a game of basketball? You win, I'll give you $100. What, me versus you? Nah, you're gonna have a teammate. That's your teammate, and my soon-to-be stepson, Josh. You want to make this money? Then you two are going to have to play together. As soon as you two learn that we're all on the same team, the further along we'll go. Did you dunk? <laughs> well, I'm a good, good three-point shot. Nah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I hope you guys enjoyed and Hold on, I can hope you guys enjoyed the video too. I don't, that's the difference though. That's the di difference though because you still did punch me in my eye, bro. I got to get my lick back. I got to get my lick back. After that, we can be cool, bro. But you punched me in my shit, bro. For no reason. And you left me with a black eye. You feel me? For us to squash it, I got to punch you in your shit, bro. <laughs> got to be hey, equal. Got to be equal, bro. Got to get even. You feel me? But I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Nice little life lesson with Luis. You feel me? Make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. What I'm going to do, catch you in the next video. Bye.